hi guys welcome back to this channel in this video we are going to learn about rebar cover so for those who don't know about rebar cover you just need to uh, create a comb or beam and then select it when you want to um, create rebars for your column if you just move your uh, mouth into your column or rebar you can see there is a rectangle here which basically is our rebar cover so what is this the rebar cover is a gap between your fire exposed surface and your rebar surface and in here you can see that it's 38 if you select your column you can see in properties that it is 38 millimeters and uh, you can change this number because there are different standards all around the world to change this number you need to go to a structure tab and from here click on reinforcement and then rebar cover setting now you can see all of uh, different types of rebar cover with different number here so if you want to create your own rebar cover click on add and then just give it a name let's go with my rebar cover and in this part you can just give it a number let's go with 20 millimeter click ok and now if you again select your column or beam and go to properties you can change this number by clicking here and selecting the rebar cover that you had created so now it is 20 millimeter here as you saw so if you need to change this number you need to again go to rebar cover and simply just change this to another number as you can see it will be different i hope you enjoyed this video bye